It's time to take a look at a different low noise amplifier implementation. This one has a proper case at least and to slide the PCBs out I had to undo the screw of the input BNC connector. It took a little effort because of how well the PCB fits but I was able to get the guts out. Having the batteries on board is nice and the power switch even nicer. Disclaimer from the designer of the circuit under the shield, it's not very good and he does not recommend replicating it. There's surprisingly not much to this board. All the magic happens inside these ADA4523 chopper op amps with a very low 1 over F corner frequency. Before measuring anything, it's a good idea to pre-charge the input filter capacitor so the device under test is not loaded. This is particularly important for precision circuits that don't like to be disturbed. And while that's happening, you can measure the noise of the power supply. It's suspiciously low, probably because of the fact that this power supply is cheating with oversized output capacitors. However much I want to inherit this scope, I can't seem to figure out how to use it. And now for the actual device under test, a 10 volt reference standard. As expected, the output noise is super low and I even spotted something that looked like popcorn noise, but I was wrong. Those spikes are usually much higher in magnitude and longer. I also got a chance to try some of JBC's more interesting offerings including this very loud solder sucker, officially known as a desoldering pump. As much as I like to think this was nothing more than a gimmick, I'm beginning to like this thing. And for my efforts, I was able to salvage this very nice looking LED display. 